Hello everyone, welcome to Dirt 3. You may know this game already. I mean, it's not a new game or anything, but and yes, um, I'm playing two different Dirt games now. Got a problem? <laughs> no, it's a, it's just um, I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying uh, just racing games by Codemasters and I also, uh, yes I know what rally is, so I'm just gonna talk over this guy. Um, I, I also really enjoyed playing Grid uh, Autosport and even in 2001 or so when uh, Colin McRae Rally 2 came out I was like 9 years old and I played that too and I was having fun. So, you know. Overall, how do I feel about racing games by Codemasters? I'm I'm loving them, to be honest. Cool. Based on your driving record, a couple of teams have contacted me. They're both great teams, but we'll have more to choose from as your driver rep increases. If you want to okay. your reputation, just He's... pay attention to me. I'll turn you into an international sensation in no time. That's fine, Christian. Um, but why don't we let our driver choose a team? Thank you. Um. So. Bonus. Well, this gives me the most objective bonus, and since they're all pretty much the same as far as power and weight goes, because it's you know restricted anyway, Great, let's get started. doesn't really matter. Um, I'm gonna go with the Fiat Grande Punto. <laughs> Welcome to Finland. Just gonna skip that and let's see if you go to in assists. ABS is on, definitely need that. Dynamic racing line, I'm gonna turn off. Stability control is off, corner braking off, front management off. Okay. And now let's race. Like, even though when you watch rallying in TV, they like drift everywhere. This is like a game where, um, where it's oftentimes faster if you don't drift, even off road, like here. Get out of the way, viewers, please. Not you, viewers, but uh, oh my god. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know the track, so I didn't know that would happen right there. This run's going a lot better than the first one. I kind of short shifted there, didn't dump shift uh, enough. Now this this car certainly seems manageable. I can tell you for free that there will be cars which are a lot harder to control than this, but. Keep in mind this, that this is the first race of the of the dirt tour, so you know if they gave you a hard to drive car in the very first race, it, it wouldn't really make much sense, would it? All right. So I won the first race. 
what do I get? Oh, the pass to the next race. <laughs> it's actually just the next stage. I haven't won this um, event yet. That's fine. I'm about one and a half seconds ahead, I think, of second place. Um, so if I can just not suck, <laughs> then it should be fine. This is just um, in some ways this this actually feels a lot like oh <laughs> in some ways this actually feels a lot like um, just a new and very much improved uh, version of uh, the Colin McRae Rally 2 that I mentioned earlier. Like it's it's very and by that I mean it's very intuitive. Like it the car. Like unlike Project Cars or Assetto Corsa or some other racing games simulators, which I know this is not, but um, unlike those games, you don't need to, you know, figure out. Oh my, oh my God! So this uh, mid-engined and car it's gonna rotate real quickly. I gotta be very careful about my throttle usage, and uh, of course, stuff stuff like this can happen too. Oh, and I could. You can just flash back. So, um, I thought I can, uh, can reset or something. In any case, um, yeah, in racing game simulators, the oftentimes have a, have a hard time getting used to um, how how to really drive in that uh, game because. It's oftentimes also different between the racing simulators. Like almost all of them claim to be the the most realistic they could possibly get, and then uh, each of them just feels different. So you know what is it exactly that makes it, makes him so realistic? This, however, this feels kind of arcadey. But it's not like a Need for Speed or something. Like Need for Speed is is obviously very, very intuitive, very easy to get used to, but also just you know a little bit silly. The only exception to that might be Need for Speed Shift, which Shift One I, I should emphasize. Um, which doesn't really, as a result, feel like a need for speed. Whereas Shift 2 was just also really, really crazy. <laughs> like you, could, you could get the most insane drag races going. But um, here, I just, I just I just like the, the kind of atmosphere, the kind of feel of the game. The way this... This whole thing looks the way the cars drive, the way you can adjust things about the cars. That obviously not in in so much detail as on some racing game simulators, but still. More importantly, more teams will want you to race their cars. Brilliant work. All right, I unlocked a new car. Nice. And also, there's a lot of vari uh, variety in this game. As we will see throughout the series. So that is Rally Cross. Next up is Rally again. So okay. Rally Cross is your good old frantic multi-car circuit racing. Your tracks are short sprints and made up of a mixture of surface types for some intense in-your-face racing. With cars that are both quick and agile, this so really is all about the overtakes. Be now this guy explains what Rally Cross is. If we didn't already know that. And what do we take? We 
the fort RS 200. Sure, why not? 560 horsepower, 1200 kilograms. So it's, it's, uh, so it's exactly twice as powerful as the Fiat Grande Punto we just drove, but weighs exactly the same. Should be quite fast Welcome then. To Michigan Smelter. This place might look like an abandoned wasteland, but it's actually home to some of the most challenging races in the world. Okay, so I, went, I drive into his tailland and I spin, not him. That doesn't quite feel right, but I try to get uh, done with it. I try to adjust to it. Also, this car is very unstable. Is it only a river drive, I think? Whereas I think the uh, the Ford Fiestas here, they are probably all wheel drive. Please move out of the way if you can't go faster. Oh, okay. Is this my chance to overtake? It is. He spun. Serious understeer for that corner, but uh, that's my own fault for uh, coming in too quickly. And we'll get this guy right here. Thank you for getting me straight again. <laughs> that's what this, that's what I was actually waiting for. That's why I wasn't hitting in gas, also because I didn't want to spin. I was just hoping for him to <laughs> drive into me and get me straight again. And he did. So what's up next? Oh, that was already it. There was only one, one race here. Um, good. We got NX Energy Racing interested in us now. That's the way to do it, Superstar. You qualify for the final and rock the podium to boot. You're nice. unstoppable. DC has got a big surprise waiting for you. Your own personal. Hey, don't give away the surprise yet, Christian. Thanks, Jack. Yeah, keep racing as well as I know you can, and you'll find out what it is. All right. Um, Safari Historic Cup. So we're gonna be driving some historic rally cars here. 70s actually. Fiat 131 above. Lancia Stratos. Opel Cadet. Another Fiat and the Ford Escort Mark II. I'm gonna go with the Stratos. Because it's just the coolest car I think. Out of these. It also has a Ferrari V6 engine, so you know that's it, that's some prestige right there. Welcome to Kenya. Home. Also, it might be quite tough to drive because it is mid-engined, and you know, like the other cars, a river drive. But the mid-engined uh, cars are just prone to uh, lift off oversteer. Right. 
It also means though that I should not have any major problems with understeer and this car is so agile. Just do that, just kind of lift off the front, turn in, and then and gently uh, balance the car with the steering. Right. This feels really good, this car. first nice and I actually won by a lot <laughs> almost five seconds now let's go to the next race to the next stage if there even is one there is set off after that Cosworth, after that Discord. It's not Cosworth, by the way. I just, uh, I kind of said the wrong thing. Um, the Discord Cosworth obviously came much later. Um, so this, so this track, this course starts pretty easy for now. played the regular Dirt 3 before, uh, but the problem with that game was it, it required me to log in with Windows 11 and then one day it didn't want to log me in anymore, despite me as, you know, using the correct password and everything. And uh, this, this game is so much better already just because it doesn't require you to log in with, uh, if, with uh, Windows Live. You can just run it and play. Looks like we're really stomping this competition, huh? What are the intervals in which rally cars start? 10 seconds? 5 seconds? As expected, on to the next. Way to make a name for yourself early. Alright. So we won this one as well. And we got... Not that much. Oh, you know what it was? I didn't. Um, I didn't uh, take the car with the best reputation bonus. This is a really big deal. Everyone's talking about you, amigo. Your rep is starting to take off. Uh, no, I'm gonna go 
here first and finish this right there. segment. Head to head is all about you and the other driver. The elaborate crossover tracks means you'll be racing Head to head is all about you and the other driver. This is a hmm, really? So I would have thought head to head would be something different. Jumps to make sure the crowd's loving you when you cross the finish I was being sarcastic of course but uh, in any case it's just and win the final to be wait the until this intro is over there we go and we take yeah let's take the Fiat again you've owned the last few races it is at Smerter. So the objective is to drive faster than 139 kilometers per hour at some point during this race and I think we can do that. Okay, so this is a very tight corner. Lots of understeer, lots and lots and lots of understeer on this car. Okay, this corner was a lot tighter than I expected. But we got it. Nice. 133.969. Couldn't have asked for a better time. <laughs> so now that we've completed the Al Alpine Stars trophy, what did we get? Oh, no, we haven't completed it yet. And yet there's another round of head to head here. Actually, I think it's, it's multiple, it's like a knockout kind of thing with like quarterfinals and semifinals and shit Okay, the first half is going pretty well here. Oh, I kind of damaged my car, but he's so far behind already. Twelve point five seconds, really? There we go. Even though the track was kind of damp, we still did a better time than last time. That 
was good. Um, okay, now we finished it actually. Good. Rank six. Uh, Kicker Racing is now interested in me. And we get Oxy Motorsport as well. And the Citroen Junior team. So how much? Uh, how many points did we get for this? 100. That's nice. Oh no! Don't do that again. Um, let's go for a blast here, shall we? Rally cross, land rush, rally, Monte Carlo rally. Let's go. Let's go for the Winter okay. Truck National in like Aspen. Cross, only bigger and more aggressive. The off-road circuits are twisted with jumps, banks, and a whole lot of craziness to keep the races raw. The only thing separating you and the chaos is your four-wheel drive land rush truck, or the more exposed rear-wheel drive buggies. Stay in control of your nerves, and you'll cross the finish line first. Alrighty. I can uh, I was always, in, in the regular Dirt Free, I was always kind of a fan of these land rush races. I liked them a lot. Um, which one do we take? Obviously, this one is offers by far the most objective bonus. Probably the objective bonus will also be the hardest, but still, I think I can do it. Welcome to Aspen. Here in the birth. I don't think we need to change anything really about the. Uh, about the car setup because we have turned off everything anyway. He's gone already. And they're all so slow. What I really like about uh, these trucks is that that they have the traction that you can actually drift the living hell out of them in uh, on a, a snowy track like this. a nice slide and braking for this corner is a little bit tricky because of the rough um, terrain there and there we go This is a good step towards the final. Keep it up. Is there another race or was that it? Hmm, that was it. Not gonna complain though. We got a decent amount of driver reputation and I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like or a comment if you did. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.